mid-November, and I, I told him, and it was, I mean, it probably looked like a crazy person, it's just me and a wild bird, and I'm telling him, like, I gotta move, and it's been great, knowing and all that stuff. I never came back after that. Now, recently, I moved into a new house. It's about 15 minutes away from my old house. Day one of Bluebird visited me. It's not him, because he doesn't eat out of my hands, but he's already, I'm there like, I'm there about a week and a half now, and he's already coming inside. I'm starting the whole process over. I encourage you guys to check out the check out the short film. It's on it's on Vimeo too. I think it's called Balance. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. So I wanted to know where you draw inspiration for your artwork. A lot of places. A lot of places. Uh, animals, obviously, is one of them, and then people are another. I've been, I've done this. Uh, I've been doing this one particular series called Naked and Famous for about 16 years now. And it was inspired by the first time I went to Burning Man, which was like 17, 18 years ago, when it was still counterculture. Nobody knew about Burning Man. And it was, uh, it's, and for those of you who don't know, know what Burning Man is, it's, a, it's an art festival out in the desert of Nevada, and thousands of artists from all over come and gather for a week and create this little city for a week it's just the most magical place on earth. There's, uh, there's, there's a cashless system. There's no sponsors. Uh, everything is bartered and traded. And, and there's just so much incredible art out there. People make themselves up with jewelry and tattoos and hats and just saws. Everywhere you look is a beast of the senses. And it's really hot during the day, so most people have their shirt off. And it, you know, the first day, because I grew up in America, I was like, and then about, you know, two hours passed, I'm like, and then, you know, half a day passed, it's like, yeah, duh, this is how it should be, it's hot, everybody should be able to take this trip. And then there wasn't a, it wasn't a, it wasn't sexualized at all, so. Then I started doing this series when I got back from Burning Man called Naked and Famous, where everybody would come and uh, friends that I knew would take off their shirt and whatever accoutrements they had, jewelry, hats, whatever, tattoos, and, and they would stand, heart open, and I would paint them. And they're life-sized portraits, and I have over, uh, 100, over 150 in that series. <sighs> yeah, I try to move in all those. So that's one of them, but I, I, well, those are the subjects that inspire me. I, I, I think when I, what really unlocked everything for me was when I was in my early 20s, I got cast in a film and shot in Berlin, and I hadn't been to Europe. And I had dabbled in painting before I went, before I went to do this film. And I asked them to paint in cash and fly me out of Prague two months later. So I took that cash and I backpacked to Europe by myself. And it was the longest and the farthest, the longest I'd been away from home and the farthest I'd ever been away from home. And there were no cell phones back then or anything, so no, you know, so I'm, I'm just getting lost in Europe. And there were some times where, you know, I'd go a day or two without talking to people because I'd be in a country where I didn't speak the language. But what always spoke to me was, go into these museums and I would see a painting and, and, and something would stir. And a lot of the times it was a subject that I connected with and I'd see the strokes. And then I'd look down at the date and it's from the 1600s or 1700s, 1800s. This artist and the subject is long dead yet this piece of art, this creation is stuck around. And here's this kid from Indiana who doesn't suddenly feel so lonely anymore because he's connecting with a piece of art. And I thought, this is the kind of game that I want to play when I get back home. So when I got back from that trip, I, 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 I haven't stopped painting since. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Sonia. Uh, again, awesome time to carry with you.
<laughs> One of the best I've seen in almost a year or so. Uh, this kind of feeding back on the last two questions, because I saw your artwork. I am a turtle mommy. I have five turtles. Yeah. Home, so I saw your turtle painting. I can't afford that. Do you have prints of the turtle? Unfortunately, I don't have prints of the turtle, though. Yeah. I, was, I saw them. I was like, oh my god, I want it. And then I saw the price. Yeah, like, sorry. Yeah. Do you have them like, online or anything? Like, prints online? Yeah, do you sell any of your prints online that you can like, ship to me or something? Um, not on the turtle, unfortunately. No, I have. Uh, the only prints I have right now are the ones that are, that are displayed. Will you post it? You decide to do a website? I will, yeah. No, I have a website, but I don't have I, If I do prints of the turtle, for sure I'll post it. Yeah. For All sure. right. Yeah, no, because I saw it and I loved it. Right? Oh, As thanks. a turtle lover, yeah. like, I, I wanted it. And I, was, I didn't see any prints out, and I thought maybe you might have had it um, like online or something where I could order it. No, yeah, with, with the way prints work, like I don't do the sort of, uh, I don't do the uh, made to order ones, or order, uh, whatever that is. The custom order? Yeah, the custom orders, because you do archival prints and it's a whole process to get it to where it's like, it, so it, I tried to do this, I went to this one company and the way you like you could take any of the paintings and get a print and I got it back and the quality was just shit. So um, yeah. Because like, the turtle was a red air slider and four of my yeah. five were red air sliders. I, I used to I used to catch those growing up in Indiana. In I, you, you can't catch them where I am, but I got you know, I got from my uh, cousin who worked at Petco, so she can't at one time I had like seven, I'm like, stop, like, oh, wow. I don't have enough space. Yeah. And where I used to live, the house that I moved out of, there was a, there was a lake there in Echo Park, California. Tons of red sliders there. And that's where I took a picture of that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just wondering, I'll keep an eye on your Twitter to see if anything comes up. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I have a question and a request. Right. So my question is, if you can play any part at all, what would it be and why? And my request is, could you answer it as a <laughs> well, I already answered that question. <laughs> right? Have you already answered? Sorry. Uh, Tony Soprano, not Tony Soprano, but I'd be on the Soprano. I don't know. Let's see. Sorry, I can't do the whole voice while I'm thinking. Um, what, what role? It's, that's a tough question because it's usually, especially if, if, it's a, if it's a movie that I've seen, it's like, it's probably one of my favorite performances and I wouldn't be able to do any better than what they did, so. Uh, oh, I can answer this without having seen it first, but I would love to have been able to play the Joker. Oh. I'm sure he's a big killer, though. I can't wait to see his performance. But yeah, that would have been one of the really Thank great you. character to play the Joker. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, you know, I really loved hearing you. My name's Jen, by the way. Hi, Jen. I'm an artist and art teacher. Um, and I really, just now, you're talking about looking at a painting that person actually did it. They were alive and they did it. They actually, and um, I just happen to love and I like to stand really close to art. Yeah, and you're not, you're not supposed to. <laughs> I've made that alarm go off complex. Um, but just looking at, you know, for example, Vincent Van Gogh's brush strokes. And yes. he actually did it. That he was there and he ate that paint. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I really enjoyed you. I guess that's I never mean, questioned, but I really just as an artist, I'm glad that somebody else feels that way. I think a lot of people feel that way. That's why it's such a powerful medium. It yeah. connects with people and it's not always the same. Like the one Van Gogh painting that you connect with, I may connect with it also in a completely different way and for different reasons. I think that's why visual art is so wonderful. And it's like if it can stand alone without any explanation and you have some connection to it, that's what makes it so powerful. And 
right? And, and because another human being did it and left it for us to ponder, again, I think that's why it's such a, a, a lasting, a lasting medium. Can I also have a comment? Right. You are extremely handsome and sexy. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, well, uh, there is, uh, I guess I can talk about, there's another film I would suggest I just finished. Uh, did anybody see The Gift? Cool. Um, it's, uh, I did uh, supernatural conventions in New Zealand and Australia. And uh, while well, I was in both of them, I, <clears throat> I extended my trip for 10 days, just traveled around, check it out. And reconnected with nature in a way that I had in a very long time. And uh, made, a, made a short film about that experience. So that's also available on video for free. Along with Valentino. Um, yeah. Encourage you all to check it out. Everybody having fun? Woo! Nice. Yeah, these, these, uh, these conventions are amazing. I'm having fun. No more questions? interested in the Shadeen, which are the creatures as it is trying to trick Jack into rising. If you could make up something that makes these beings so intimidating that Lucifer gave as those scars and said, no, we don't want them here, what do you think that makes the Shadeen so dangerous? I think that they have the ability to kill Lucifer. I think that's why he's so scared of them. And I knew that if I could tame them, which I could, I could kill Lucifer. And then beat the kick of head out of him! I like that, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, so I heard you talking back over about your paintings and you brought them today. So yes. thank you very much. Oh, cool. Thank you. Um, I'm just wondering how you get your inspiration for them. We've kind of asked Rob about how he is inspired to write songs, etc. And that's obviously a artistic element that you have. Well, yes, I kind of get the inspiration of the paintings. Um, I mean, I, we, it's been a lot. I, I answered it, that question earlier, but I can. I can talk even more about how I'm inspired from the paintings. Um, let's see. I mean, I kind of just, <laughs> I answered it pretty completely. It's, uh, did, were you here for that or not? Oh, you were out there? Um, a lot of it is just the subjects, the people that I paint and the animals that I paint. And uh, it's always just been an art form that speaks to me very deeply and is a lasting one that, um, that I chose to participate in in my early 20s after visiting all the uh, museums and seeing the masterworks. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks. All right. Woo! Just in time. Just in time. Yeah, we're there. We're at Treat. And tonight, and Saturday Night Special, usually this kid hops on a plane and bolts out here. Tonight, he's sticking around and going to be a part of Saturday Night Special.